That sounds good to me. Data is loaded. We are heading out. Well, we are simply going to assume that if that Hornet has made his due diligence and is ready to go, then so are we. Ah, we might as well just wait for this, that Hornet ahead of us to taxi onto the runway. I mean, we are going to need more cap in the air to keep us covered until we deploy. Well, this is going to be awkward, ain't it? I don't see anyone on the other part of the strip that is ready to go just yet, so... I'm just going to let the Hornet go, and then I'm going to go right the part right afterwards. Navigation, full power to the engines, and go. We'll set up our QFE once we are in the air. Two, three, six. And off we go. We are a bit heavy here, but that should not pose a problem. Wheels up. And we are gonna set our course directly for the target waypoint. Zone 1, and good to go. Once we've cleared the power lines, I'll set her into autopilot, and we'll head on to the target. Target QFE is three nine sorry nine three six Right, good to go. 150 meters is way too high for the biggin, so we are going to be a bit lower. Attack on the weapon selection. And retrim a bit. Erik Kalle. show will go on. She's a magnificent bird. And channel 1 for SRS. Springfield 4-1, Overlord 1-1, one, one, bra 0 4 eight, four, 60 at 5 three, miles five to target. Hot. That thing is close. Let's pop a little bit further down and try to... I mean, there's not much clutter here to hide behind, so... We'll just have to make do with what we got, right? And hope the jamming pod makes up the difference, actually. Let's start putting out some chaff. I mean, we do have plenty of chaff here, so...
Four zero to target. Pop the chaff and start the countdown to the pop up. Attack mode. The pop up will be done at about ten uh, kilometers. Three zero. Looks like it's some smoke. No, that's just a big tree. That was oddly placed. I was kind of convinced it was smoke there for a moment. Re engage Jeff at. 15. Re engaging Jeff. Stand by for pop up. Go. Overlord 1 1. Springfield 4 1. Request bogey dope. We're 10. Bombs away! Weapons away! I say again, weapons away! We will depart. Springfield 1-1, one, one. Overlord 1-1, one, one. Bra 1-1-0, one, one, 4 one hundred. at... We are exfiltrating, the same way we came. Ghost 5, weapons away, one, one. heading for home. It's gonna be a fool's errand to try and see where our bombs went, but there was a... Yeah, I don't think we are gonna get, be getting the information we crave here. Well, we killed unknown in, unknown in sub -sub subsidiary structure, so yeah. We did get something with our BKs, that will have to be enough for now. Let's head for home in crazy breakneck speeds here. Wee! So, yeah. Actpos Elmol. Let's just hope they don't think I'm um, some kind of incoming bogey. I mean, it would be easy to mistake me for one at these speeds. We are the Speedbird. Bit of a red out there, but we're okay. Reducing speed to zone one. We don't need to waste all the fuel in the world. Springfield one one Overlord one one Bra zero four six four sixty right. at thirteen thousand knots. Kill the shaft deployment. The time for talk is over. It is time for the reduction in speed. Springfield one one Overlord one one Bra one zero two four. four yeah, we are inbound on Kutaisi. Ghost five inbound Kutaisi.
Battlefield 1-1, Overlord 1-1, Bra 053-4120 at 30,000 flanking. Let's have a look. Does field appears to be clean. Wheels down. This is gonna be a fast one, but uh, we should be good on this. We're just going to get down on the ground and reload. Yeah, we should be good on this. A little more engine power there. A little more engine power. Power. And reverse. What do you say? That's quite a short land landing. I don't really feel done, so... Well, yeah, we need to put our navigational systems in standby mode. And then we will be rearmed for another story. You can see the show must go on. It might be that we will be resetting our navigational system as well. Because that will be the good thing to do. We'll just need to reach the pad up ahead where we will be doing the primary reloading. I haven't really decided if I should just reload with bombs or if I should try something else, but in this case, I think that bombs will be the more reliable method. So I'm just going to turn away to let that corner do his thing. Right, power down, and... Right, so we will be taking out the coffers, we will be inserting the coffers. have the data and like I said I think we are going to go in with uh, bombs with hammer and uh, we need more fuel, we need more cap and that is enough. So thank you and get me that new stuff immediately. Right, just making sure that all the control surfaces work just fine. And we're heading for the same target, and we're just gonna punch the living daylight out of it with bombs this time around. I mean, is that, if everyone here is flying around VAM ramps and sidewinders and growling sidewinders and stuff like that, let's just introduce them to some old-fashioned iron bombs. We should be loaded and good to go, so close canopy and ref Lola out. Canopy is closed and secure. We are moving.
Three, two, one, radio check. I would suppose this is one of those servers where most of the communication is done by Discord. If so, I better get my ass into the growing Sidewinder Discord then, but I, that can wait, at least for now. I mean, it's that kind of server where part of me just wants to sit and spectate and see what the hell everyone else is up to. Oh, that that is why the navigation is still the navigational is still set for El Mole, and uh, the 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 computer system that didn't directly think we landed, so that might be a problem, but hopefully not. So let's have the show go on, shall we? Good time, traffic uh, strike package taking off runway zero eight. Springfield one one Overlord one one Bra zero five four four one hundred at twenty thousand. Navigation is set, act post speed clear and go. Wheels up. Looks like nothing was damaged, however we did not get a spare fuel tank for this one. Uh, that's disappointing. Very disappointing indeed. So the fuel tank we got loaded now is empty. Uh, we'll, we'll continue on zone 1, Erik Kalle for the jammer. And proceed, 7 miles out. Daylight come and we drop the bomb. Overlord one one Springfield four one request bogey dope. Oh, looks like there was a team kill on the other side. A J J eleven A that got a J F seventeen. We'll stay on zone 1 since the target is so close. And now they keep blaming each other. Springfield one one. Ah, better not fan the flames there. Uh, so, uh, five miles out to the target, and lots of bombs are going to go down on it. It's nine, three, six. Nine, three, five should be the proper. There we go. What missiles are the best for long range for the F-15? And of course the red side answered the AIM-7S. Aim, aim of course they do. Uh, 4 zero kilometers to the target, so we are closing in. Ghost 5 running in. 
Well, it's Ghost 5-7, but we don't need, really need to split ass on this one. Start the chaff. Overlord, one, one. Springfield, four, one. Request bogey dope. Oh, yeah, right. We have to set that one to the navigational mode as well. I actually Overlord, forgot about one, that one. one. Clean. Two, five. Two zero. Hopefully, some fires or whatever should be there to guide us on to the objective. Yeah, we, according to the map, we are dead center on, so. Altitude is good. We'll just need to be careful for possible anti-aircraft and possible enemy aircraft as well for that matter there I think I see it yeah we, we're heading for the tanks I say again we're heading for the tanks weapons away At least one T90 is out of commission. That's some good hits on the target right there. Let's get home and yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna. Oh, that's. We got a tour site! We got a tour site! Oh, we found guided bombs! We just flew right over it! And we got an tour anti-aircraft site! Oh, Russian hardware never changed, my buddies! Poor Bruce, or Busk, or whatever it is. Uh, someone lied to him in chat and said that he should be picking the AIM-7 instead of the AMRAM. And on a server like this, you definitely want the AMRAM, because they're readily available. Uh... Runway is that ahead. They killed their own AWACS! They killed their own AWACS! God damn it, they killed their own AWACS! That has got to hurt. Okay, so it's that kind of server. It's a bit, a bit of a Wild West sort of thing, it seems, but... Let's land this motherfucker. Oh, and that was way too heavy. Yeah, we're not going to do much more with this. That that was just a sloppy landing. I got distracted. So that 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 was a class A sloppy landing. I think we need to clear the field. Just in case someone else wants to use it, but
Either way, I must say this is actually a nice introduction to Growling Sidewinder. Even though we do have this Hornet just standing right there and blocking the path to the parking way and everything like that. I'm just gonna get off the active and uh, let him do his thing. How n very nice of him to just put up his uh, wings like that as well. So we're heading for the pad where we will be parking and resting. I mean, between the BK90s and just sheer bombs, that was really, really fun. Alright, so it will... I need to get out on a couple of chores and other stuff, but thanks for staying with me while I was flying. And I will see you guys next time.